Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I have done some more sewing. So this is stuff for my little toddler boy who at the time of filming this is a couple of weeks away from turning two which is a bit terrifying. Um, he probably is already two by the time I'm actually posting this. Um, so making him some new clothes. So it's this simplicity pattern um, 8660A. So I don't know if there's an 8660B, but that's just what it says. So it gives you a few different things. So there's a couple of, um, it's an American, it's the American pattern. So um, it calls them overalls, but I would call them dungarees. Um, and there's like a long-legged one, a short-legged one, and then there's like a pinafore or dungaree style dress. And then there's a t-shirt and then there's some trousers. So I opted for view A, which is t-shirt and view C which is the overalls or the dungarees with the long legs. Um, I was just using bits of fabric that I had already in my stash um, just to try and sort of use that up because I have loads of bits of fabric that are like less than a metre and I can't really make anything for myself out of them um, but they're kind of perfect size for my son. Um, so I made the dungarees first and I made them with a blue kind of chambre blue kind of chambray, a blue chambray fabric um, and then also this flowery fabric which I'm guessing is some kind of cotton. It actually feels like it has a coating on it which I suspect is because I've just failed to wash the fabric and actually like it's got a bit of stiffness to it and I think that will just come out once it's been washed but I always wash my fabric when I buy now these days when I buy fabric and I get a delivery I always wash it before I start working with it but like I said because these are bits from my stash the chambre I'd made a skirt out of previously so I know it had been, it'd been washed but this was just like a uh, remnant I think that I picked up somewhere I can't even remember where I got it from so I don't know what the fabric is um, and I'm guessing I just never bothered washing it I think I might have may, may have made like a little bag or something out of this fabric at one point I can't really remember. Um, but yeah, I used that for the, I used the flowery fabric for the pockets and also the straps and then also the facings. Um, I did not use any interfacing because I don't have any and I never fully know like where to get it from. I mean, it's not that hard, is it? But like, I never bother, I never bother with it. So all of the straps are very like floppy, but whatever, like, who cares, really? I'm sure it would be more professional and, and, and need to finish and retain its shape a bit better if I'd used it, but he's not going to care. <laughs> um, so the style of it is, um, first of all, they're absolutely massive on him. So they, I used the size 2T, but I kind of forgot it was the American sizing as well as the, you know, it's an American pattern. So their size 2, I think, is our size 3, I think or something. I mean Americans are just really quite big. They're just tall and so I guess the kids are tall. Um, so that, it's absolutely huge on him and it's not going to fit him for ages. Even with the trousers rolled up the width is just, it's just like, it looks like he's wearing those like waterproof fishing trousers that you wear over your regular clothes. And that is also because of like the shape of them. They're not like I would think of as being like um, traditional dungarees they instead of being like trousers and then a top bit connected they kind of goes up there's no kind of defined waist and then it kind of just goes up to his armpits um so i mean it's a it's a look it's a cute look if it fit to him i think it would look really cute um i like the flowery pockets which are absolutely massive absolutely ridiculous like my pockets are a fraction of this size. He doesn't have anything but stones to put in his pockets. But I mean, he's going to be able to fit a lot of stones in these. Um, they're absolutely massive. <laughs> um, but they're also obviously kind of part of the design. And then it just has two buttons. And then you have like two button holes on the strap so that you can adjust the um, strap length. The pattern was um, really quite straightforward, thankfully. Um, I think the pattern itself is just inherently fairly simple, but the instructions were pretty good as well. The fabric was quite easy to work with and to sew as well, because it's a, um, not a knit fabric, the other one, woven, woven fabric. Um, so that's easier to work with generally. 
The one thing I would say about the pattern is that there was one step that was just add buttonholes and that's all the information I got given about how to add buttonholes and buttonholes are kind of tricky. Um, I think I guess it, it just depends on what sewing machine you're using as to how you're going to go about that based on the buttonhole options that you may or may not have on your sewing machine. So luckily my sewing machine um, does buttonholes pretty well and pretty easily I discovered because that was the first buttonholes I've done on that machine, possibly the first buttonholes I've ever done properly. Um, and they worked out fine, so I'm quite proud of myself for my excellent buttonholes. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with those, apart from the size being too big. Um, I'm really pleased with those and I would make some more or make some of the other versions, except I'm going to have to trace the pattern pieces out again because I need to do them a size smaller, which is annoying. Um, the other thing that I made was the t-shirt, which is the View A, and I used this really cute um, lion um, jersey fabric. It's really nice. I think I got this from Jelly Fabrics. I think that's what it's called. I got it a while ago. I made a top, a polo, like a polo shirt. It had a collar um, for my nephew out of this a while ago, and then I just had some left over. Um, honestly, I... By the amount of fabric that is recommended on a pattern for the size that I'm making and I still always end up with loads left over so I don't get those uh, recommendations. Um, anyway the t-shirt was fairly simple, just front back, two sleeves and then a collar. Um, pretty simple and straightforward construction. The um, instructions in the booklet were, were straightforward. Um, I didn't have any problems apart from that I still find jersey and stretch fabrics to be just harder to sew. Um, you, there was no instructions in the um, in the pattern to finish any of the seams, I guess because the jersey is not going to fray, so it does mean that on the inside it's not as neat. Um, I did use pinking shears a few times just to kind of tidy it up a little bit, but there's bits you may not may or may not be able to see there. Like, so that's the back of the collar that's just a little bit scruffy looking. But I mean, he's not going to care and you're not going to see it when he's wearing it anyway. I do I think some of my stitching was a little bit wonky, but I find zigzag stitching is just less neat and less strong than straight stitching. Um, but I do like we finished off the hems and things with kind of like double stitching. I mean, really, I do have a twin needle somewhere knocking around and I probably should have cracked that out because their instructions were to do a row of, of straight stitch and then about a quarter of an inch on from that do another row, which works fine, except that it does mean that they are not exactly parallel lines because my sewing is not particularly straight. Um, but I actually made this really quite quickly. I think I constructed it in like an hour or an hour and a half, which for me is like unbelievably fast. Um, obviously I had to cut out all the pattern pieces and stuff separately, so uh, the whole project took longer. But I'm just quite pleased that I managed to get like two things done for Toddler Boy um, in just a few days. You don't get that much free time. To, to, to do this stuff and get this stuff done so I just took advantage of the time that I had and I don't know when it's going to roll around again so I'm glad I got them finished because projects have a habit of just sitting got a shelf in front of me where I can just see projects um, they just sit there and don't get finished and then I kind of forget what I'm doing with them it's quite frustrating um, but working on these little clothes for toddler boy um, it's so much easier than working on ones for me because it's just like the fabric is smaller, the piece of fabric you're working with is smaller. Uh, it's just just a quicker make. They're usually quite simple, like more simple to put together than adult clothes. So I need to make him more really instead of just buying stuff for him. Anyway, um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of this pattern if you've used it. Let me know what you think of the clothes. Um, give me a comment and a like if you've liked it, and subscribe for more videos.